guys what's up it's MC stuff here and today I'm going to be doing another competition overview so this one is about pen cube day spring 2019 so yeah this competition I did extremely well yeah let's get on to the first event so the first event was 3x3 which you're watching right now and I got a 10.28 average which is PB and I'm super super happy about so that solve you just watched was a 9.35 which I locked up on a lot, which could have been a sub 9, but that's totally okay, and I'm super satisfied with this already, and I hope to get a sub 10 average soon. But yeah, that was it for 3x3. Three three. The next event of the day was 3x3 three three one handed, and I got a 23.64 average, which is okay. Um, it's kind of bad for me actually. I could have done better and made it to finals though, but that's okay. I got a nice 18 single, but the single you're watching right now. It's a 21, but I think I could have done a lot better with this, but that's totally fine. But I'm just happy how I did overall with my other events. The next event was square one for me, and I'm really, really happy with this. Although I didn't beat my single, um, I missed it by 0.1. That's okay, I did make cutoff and I qualify for nationals. So I was super excited about this because I got the Yushin Little Magic Square one right before this and I only did like 12 solves, but I did really well and I managed to pull off a sub 30 average when I globally average maybe around sub 33 or so. But that was really nice and I hardly know any of algorithms, but in the future I will try to keep getting better at square one. The next event of the day for me was 3x3 three three second round and I got an 11.11 .11 average. I totally bombed it because I got a counting 12.96. If only I didn't plus 2 that solve, I would have made finals and as you know last competition I got one place off for making finals and it happened again in this competition but at least I'm getting more consistent I feel like. Okay I'll get it next competition. The next event for me was 7x7, seven seven, and I was really hoping to qualify for nationals for this event, but unfortunately I didn't, and I got a 420 mean and a 419 single. I don't even really average this at home, I got pretty lucky in competition, but that places me top 250 in the world, and I'm really really happy about that. And I performed really well, really well in 7x7, seven seven, and I think it was the best performance of this competition. The last event of this competition for me was 5x5 five five combined final and I think I did okay. Um, I got a 126.88 average. I actually don't have any of the footage right now because I lost it but what you're watching is Team Factory with Color Cuber or Tyler Koshi. Yeah, um, so we got a lot of sub 20 Team Factories which is really nice. But back to my 5x5. Five five. I got almost a consistent sub 130 but on the last solve I kind of messed up and I got a 133. But that's totally okay. I just want to be consistently sub 130 now. But yeah, that was pretty much it for this whole entire video. I hope you enjoyed this overview of Pen Cube Day. And if you're going to any competitions in the future, or you just have a suggestion for me for future competitions, then please tell me in the comments down below. Anyway, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. But yeah, guys, that was pretty much it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.